Are you trying to like publicly hang me? Okay, that's <laughs> it for DK. No, 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 no. no Welcome, Welcome to YouTube's favorite K-pop show, show DK News. Danny Kim. David. Vroom, vroom. Got some hot ass tea. First off, Somi shows off her nice ass car and triggers a lot of snowflakes. Second, Sunni's Audi Ramen goes bankrupt. Last but not least, Yanu supports and shares Anthrum petitions, which also triggers some snowflakes. And on to the first, first news. Oh, oh, news. Tomi just graduated from high school and now drives a Lamborghini, oh. which causes fuss between netizens. Oh no, what now? So Tomi has started a new series on YouTube called I Am Tomi. I Am Tomi. Have you watched it? No. No. Well, it captures the life of Tomi in her life off of the stage mm. and the first episode was uploaded on March 28th and showed her graduation date in high school. I cool. saw it mm. and it was very cute mm. and it, I could feel her excitement. So I'm saying I'm gonna eat jajangmyeon after yeah, but I don't mean that. <laughs> At the very end of the video, they showed the teaser for the next episode. Uh. In which she is driving a Lamborghini Urus, mm. the SUV Lamborghini, and says, I upgraded to a yellow car. A yellow car. Wow. It's not even a Lamborghini, it's a yellow car. Mm. And the Urus is worth over 200,000 wow. US dollars. Now, this generated a lot of buzz because, well, this girl just graduated from high school in this episode, and now she's driving a Lamborghini. The that's first pretty, car is that's a Lamborghini. That's pretty special, yo. Wow. And um, she just started driving, obviously. The legal driving age, I think, is 19. Mm. I, I hope she Korea. drives safe with that car. I mean, it's not uncommon for celebrities to drive luxury cars. They make a lot of money. Tomi was the first overall pick mm. in Produce 101, so I'm sure she has a lot of money. Uh, but for a very young idol, to show it off, um, it may have been a surprise. And and obviously, it became a trending keyword. Yeah, I saw it the whole day on right. Twitter yesterday. Right. It was like, Somi, Somi, exactly. Chadong Cha, stuff exactly. like that. While many congratulated her success, some people were not pleased with the fact that in a time of financial difficulty due to the spread of you know what, she was showing uh. off her fancy new luxury car. And oh they God. stated, this was somewhat inconsiderate. I understand you want to show it off, but the economy is difficult what? and boasting in front of people like this is not good. What? I won't read all the comments because it, they're, they're pretty much in the logic? similar sentiment. Now, these are not like the majority of the comments. Yeah. Some articles, they showed um, positive comments supporting her, uh, while some showed these kind of comments. And it's kind of difficult to gauge the public's reception oh, now I, that I the saw... comment section is gone. But it does provide an interesting perspective into the mindset of the certain portion of the general public. Uh. It, it also makes me question why some celebrities showing off their swag mm. gets positive reactions mm. and what brings negative reactions. Uh. For example, um, you know when JYJ's Shia Junsu, mm -hmm. he showed off his um, multi-million yeah, dollar house on um, YouTube. No one was really pissed off about that. I have nothing against Homi as well, but right. I guess the difference is like she's like she has one song, and Shia Junsu is like established. Like That's he's true. a That's veteran. True. In People the feel like he, he 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 earned that. He earned that. I got some insider info from my uh, advertising friend, and they say that Homi has a very good conversion rate when she's used as an advertising model so mm -hmm. even if she's not very active or in the music field or anything like she's successful already mm -hmm. as an advertising model so actually the lamborghini turned out to be not hers ah, because on march 30th just an hour ago mm -hmm. um, star news reported that the lamborghini is not actually owned by somi so it's likely um from my speculation a rental or some sort of brand yeah, deal. I... just it just made me kind of think about my life I have no car, but well, I do have this. I mean, I saw, I recently saw like Hedy's vlog, Girls Day Hedy's yeah, vlog, yeah, yeah. and I think her, uh, I think should celebrities refrain from showing off their riches at times like these. No. At times like these where uh, many are going through a financial crisis. <laughs> There's companies that are laying off in well, the masses. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, people are not going to work because the company's closing down. I guess it would yeah. be a little polite or good. It's not a fault or anything, but better to refrain from flexing in this time right. and era. Right. But I, I still don't see any technical problem here. Mm. So they just happen to own their right. that car well, and that's their life and they're just vlogging it. I don't really care if they own like a Lamborghini and show it off or uh. something, but they got to expect some shit coming back to them. The currency that they trade is the people's love, right? 
And you gotta be a likable character if you want to be popular and if you want to make money off of that fame. Probably showing off, you know, your money and whatever your possessions are at times like these where most of your consumer base is struggling is probably not gonna get a good response. Go do whatever you want, but at the same time, don't expect yourself to be like free from criticism. Particularly in this case, I think there's dynamics such as uh, her being a very young woman that kicked in too. I think because that's like, true. if it was like a young dude, nobody would give a shit. If, if it was like there's a tons of rich guy dude, rappers. Like Next, Next news, news. Sungmi's Audi Ramen goes bankrupt oh, and you've no. eaten Audi Ramen before. Yes, it's actually times, pretty right? good. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, I used to go to IFC Mall and eat it every you day. You have a vlog. Audi Ramen, once a very popular Japanese ramen franchise in Korea, also known as Sungmi's Ramen because Sungmi being the owner of the past Audi food and beverage, mm -hmm. which is currently the factory and corporation, the Audi Ramen franchise has now gone into oh. history. What? According to the court, the current factory and corporation submitted a bankruptcy form on the 24th. The company had more debt than assets, so it had no choice but to submit the bankruptcy okay. form. According to multiple Korean news sources such as Economy Herald, who first reported this news, this is not my personal opinion or any of my own thoughts, so don't come for me. Economy Herald claimed that the first foremost reason of bankruptcy was the Sungmi owner risk. Factory and revealed that the sales of the restaurants reduced drastically ever since the burning sun right, gate, right. which Sungmi was was involved in, uh -huh. allegedly. Since the scandal, only 22 of the once 50 franchise branches have survived. Just to make the situation worse, another factor was in July when the whole nation started a nationwide yeah. No Japan boycott movement right. due to political and diplomatic conflicts between Korea and Japan. Factory and stated that the boycott affected Japanese ramen right. industry in right. general. Yeah. I don't people, know about that. I mean, people didn't want to eat Japanese food. I don't know it, about that. Well, the owners are not Japanese. So I know, but, but it's still, yo, like, don't expect reason okay, okay. and logic uh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. from true, the public. True, true. On top of that, the final job was done by the economic crisis brought by the coronavirus, which led to almost no customers at all in right, the restaurants. Right. Thus, the owners of the franchises decided that it was hard to avoid further debt and bankruptcy. Mm. Aori Ramen is currently still operating, but they plan to shut down gradually and including the China and Malaysia oh, branches really? too. Even those. The franchise owners have two choices. They can terminate their contracts and start another business in the same spot or continue to use the name Audi Ramen if they wish to. And I doubt that anybody's going to use that. Meanwhile, when two of the branch owners filed a lawsuit towards the corporate claiming that sales plummeted after the Burning Sun scandal, the court rejected that lawsuit by saying that the company or brand has the obligation to maintain a certain reputation and image. However, an individual like Sungni does not. Whatever involvement Ms. Sungni mm. has in Burning Sun. That's personal, individual exactly. act, not so, in the name of, of the corporate. Ramen, right? Exactly. So the Seoul Bankruptcy Court will soon determine whether the company can no longer operate due to more debt. Industry experts are predicting the request will most likely be accepted. And in the meantime, netizens showed reactions such as this. Good. Starting with Sungri, we should take down the Burning Sun Kingdom until the moon falls on the rock and the skull cracks. Do the Sungri at least half of what you did to Chojubin. You dog police. On I live alone he was pretending to be a Chiyo in front of all his franchise owners. I'll look at how he threw all of them out on the streets. Impressive. Okay, so what are your thoughts about this? I think we all saw it coming. No, It's no surprise here. I just wish that the franchise owners um, can move on and to a better business. One lesson this does give is that there is always a risk yeah. in bi doing business where it heavily depends on a celebrity's exactly. name. I feel like it's kind of funny um, that you would sue uh, Aori Ramen, mm. um, the company, for, I don't know, some sort of compensation because they thought some tarnish the brand mm. in a sense you were um kind of riding on Aori Rama's exactly. name I mean I I do understand like it's probably like really difficult for them right now yeah. especially when Burning Sun hit right like it, it was probably like really really dif difficult like mm. these people have no involvement in, right, right. in Burning Sun right. yet these people are getting the uh, butt end of the stick here mm. so obviously I get their anger and it, it kind of solidified my thought like okay don't invest in um 
stocks uh, of entertainment, entertainment companies yeah, because I'm that. Uh, you know you never know what's gonna happen. A, a single person could struggling really, really uh, make things difficult. Not even right now is just right. affecting my stock so much. Like I'm struggling literally. So go buy our merch, guys. If I see my stock account <laughs> right now, oh, yo, I bought Boeing when it was like 60% higher than this price. And also, I think I've learned a lesson myself to not rely on right, celebrities right, 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 too much. Right, right. And maybe yeah. we should do that on our channel too. Yeah, yeah. So maybe we should well, make here's the thing. more content, we're, original we're not, content. We're not investing in individual celebrities okay. here. We're buying the index fund. Okay. We're buying the K-pop 500. Uh, okay. Next news. Former Momoland member Yano posted a screen cap of two petitions related to the end through gate and caused some uproar among the snowflakes who were not too pleased with her voicing her opinion. Now, if you don't know what the end through gate is, uh, please refer to our previous DK News link. Link up here. It's the hugest scandal, hugest incident right. in Korea right now. It's totally disgusting. Of this year and probably bigger than Burning Sun. Yeah, so yeah. very disgusting. Check it out if you want. Yeah. That's, that's, that's so weird. The petitions she shared were one urging the investigation of a different but similar issue. Mm -hmm. Mad Korea has a lot of issues of people putting up pictures of their acquaintances online with their identities while making sexually degrading comments about them. Wait, so, I don't understand. What's that? So it's a whole different issue. Um, these people were on Twitter basically posting like the information of their acquaintances and their pictures and everything, their faces, and asking people to uh, make totally degrading comments because apparently that's like very arousing for them. What? The other petition was uh, requesting the change of the judge of the Anthem case, Odokshik, who has a reputation of being generous with sex crimes. He was the judge who made the verdict uh, for Kuhara's boyfriend not being guilty of blackmailing and assaulting Kuhara. Um, and currently this petition has also over 300,000 signatures. <laughs> it seemed like all legitimate petitions, which I would personally sign as well, but one netizen commented, do you even know what the division of power is? Signing these kind of petitions. To which Yano replied, through sharing, I wanted to bring out the issue to the public and I know what is right and wrong as a human being, so don't worry about me, bitch. She didn't say bitch, but I, I added that. Yeah, some MSG. <laughs> but I like that. I like that. Stand your ground, man. Stand okay. your ground. Of course, most commenters were agreeing with Yano because we're not all psychopaths here. And don't worry, we're all mad about this case. And I think it's great that public figures are bringing more awareness to these kind of issues. Many celebrities have come out and spoken uh, their opinions regarding the Anthem case, like EXID, Ellie, uh, EXO's, Baekhyun, Jogon, Hedy, Park Bo Young, etc. Everybody. The investigation is ongoing right now and Jo Joo-bin is currently being interrogated but right. he's trying to derail the investigation by naming like huge ass big media names right he, he just like name dropping like huge yeah, media yeah. figures and he's, like, for trolling. no reason he's trolling and right I, I can definitely tell that he's trying to like play the game here yeah, he's trolling and and i feel like he's a very big psychopath he doesn't feel any remorse yeah he doesn't yeah. feel any he doesn't remorse feel sorry for the victims he didn't even name the victims in his apology issues. dude has some big ass issues and i think he he swallowed that pen because he didn't want to do the bow. He he tried to he's tried to swallow a pen while he was in custody, oh. and that's why he got injured with his like oh, you know really? keeps it here. And then he was like he had no option just to like do the apology like that in front oh. of the public. And I think he did that on purpose because oh. he didn't want to bow. I think he did wow. that. He's a psychopath, man. Yeah. yeah. And he also faked that he had. So oh, he's a psychopath. Okay. I'm just gonna put it out there. But okay. anyways, I'm in furious too. Oh. I wanted to post something too, but I was just like, I didn't. I was worried to be too woke. Okay. There's actually quite mixed reactions with um, the people posting the petitions. Why? Especially like I think insecure dudes who feel like this is an attack on them. Right. Ah, right. Right. Like let's, defending let's, themselves. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this because while it seems good that all these celebrities are and and everybody like not just celebrities, everybody in Korea is posting about these kind of yeah. things. There's a small but yet very vocal portion of males, uh, mostly males who are saying like, oh, why are these people posting about these kind of things? Like, mm -hmm. why are they assuming we're all um, the perpetrators? All males are evil and shit like that. What do you think about that? <laughs> well, are you trying to like publicly hang me? Okay, but that's it for DK. No, 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 no. Let me state my opinion. I feel like there are two sides of this. I Technically, I agree to the males because if they were attacked first, if they were just going on the street and someone came up to you and said like, you f 
criminal. Then they have the uh, right to defend themselves. Yeah. But if nobody said that to them and they're just feeling this like unconscious guilt inside them, and I think that's just a defense mechanism because they are insecure. I do agree with the female side saying that males should actually stand up and be more proactive, spread more attention about it. And it's the predominant male society right. that, that formed that, this kind of environment that, 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 is the issue, that made right. this cruel and disgusting act happen in the first place. A lot of my male friends are feeling that way. They're feeling like they're attacked. Act because well, who's attacking them? Uh, they're feeling like I'm not a perpetrator. What? Because a lot of what people are saying is like, you guys, all these guys made this happen. It wasn't just the people that were in. That's the, not. The that's chat not rooms. the. That's it not the a, message. I guess these guys are feeling attacked because people are saying like, oh, God, dudes are all potential. Men criminals. are the problem. Is so what they're feeling. I mean, and... it could be worded better, but still, like, if you don't word it like that, dudes won't think about it and mm. they won't get triggered yeah, about yeah. it so i guess like you got you gotta stir up trigger some, the yeah, snowflakes yeah, in yo. order to make them thinking okay yeah yeah trigger them snowflakes so that they'll be uh feeling attacked and then now they'll actually think about the issue and good a, and tactic a, and also that chojubin dude he stated that he was the mastermind behind the shin Sekyung and homie's hidden cameras scene and that that's just disgusting yeah, we can see from that case he gets the ego from that right right he, he said like he, he wants to take credit for all these different crimes he Sexual did against crimes, women. And that's crazy. Anyway, uh, yeah, put this disgusting motherfucker in jail and also all the other people in an island and do a battle royale. Tell us what you think about all these cases, man. It's like Korea's crazy here. I mean, the rest of the world is crazy too. So I hope you guys are all safe yeah. in your houses. Buy our merch. Thank you uh, to our special Patreon. Um, you know who I, who you are uh, who sent us this nice car model. Hopefully uh, we can buy that. Yeah, hopefully soon. I'll buy this car car in like 20 years and 20 years uh, please wow, that's subscribe to dkdk tv and bye 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 merch link in the descriptions patreon